In a hotel, there is a room attendant picking up a wallet. She opens it and suddenly a piece of iron comes out of the wallet. She tries to pick up the piece but falls through the ceiling and dies. When other people look up to the ceiling, it is still intact without any defects. They don't know why she could fall through the ceiling like that. Afterwards, the FBI quickly comes to investigate, and they are so surprised. The iron plate is always floating in the air, maybe it comes from somewhere out of this planet. After analyzing, it turns out to be a product of a mysterious technology existing at least 30,000 years ahead of the Earth. How can such an advanced technology appear on Earth? Then they find out something more thrilling. There is a female body floating in a field. She is just floating like the piece of iron they discovered before. But based on the wind direction, the body must have come from the opposite direction. When Brian Baneventi removes the steel wire, the body slowly moves and flies to a different place. They follow the dead body. It leads them to another farm when they find more dead bodies. The bodies are floating around and moving behind one another. They bring all the bodies back to check, and there is no pulse or heartbeat in them. But their cells and brains are still functional. In this moment, a woman opens and turns her eyes around, then closes them. All the clues appear to be related to the debris. They start looking for other pieces on a large area. Deep in the forest, they discover a large amount of debris. When the FBI are moving the bodies from the forest, two strange men come up. The cops pull out their guns to warn them, so the two men swallow pieces of debris and disappear. They teleport to a place under a bridge, but one of them unfortunately moves inside the bridge. Seeing his mate stuck in the bridge, the man kills him by the gun without hesitation. When the FBI comes, he is gone. After that, many strange things happen. A car is floating and slowly moving. Then trolleys, chains, gas cans start budging. As long as they are made from iron, they will be pulled by an invisible force. Then they are stacked around this small town. A lot of iron furnitures make this town surrounded without any space. Brian and Finola arrive this town to investigate, and they find a man smashing the car door. They both try to stop them, but he gets angry and starts speaking uncontrollably. He runs away when they do not notice. They follow him, Finola gets into a warehouse. She catches the man in it. When she calls Brian to inform the situation, Brian coincidentally catches the identical guy too. They take the two men to station, but the men don't know anything about their identity. Everything is getting harder and harder. Therefore, Brian and Finola decide to go to his house and search for other clues. They see a pile of iron when entering it. Brian gets in a room, he sees a man who is identical to him. They both have guns, and are pointing guns against each other. When the clone is talking, Brian shoots to finish the fake person. Now they understand that the bodies have the ability of duplicating. And these two identical men are also duplicated. So, where is the real one? At this time, they discover a blood mark in the house. Tracking the blood, they go outside and stop near the pile of iron. They see his car on the top of the pile. Then Brian climbs and finds the man locked in it. The man is finally saved, but other thrilling things keep happening. A maintenance worker finds a fog layer during her working time. She steps forward and throws a stone into the layer, but the stone flies through it. When curiously looking at the veil, a human hand turns up. As soon as Brian and Finola arrive, the veil has disappeared. They have no choice but waiting for it to show up again. At night, it actually comes up. Brian walks around the veil, he wants to check it, but it seems transparent. After that, Finola uses a machine to communicate with the people in the veil, and they eventually get the name and address of the girl before the veil disappears again. After researching, they have the girl's information. The news declares that she was missing in 2019. The day after, they meet her father but he does not believe that she is still alive. Brian tells him to go forward. When he is slowly steps, the veil shows up. The man sees his daughter and asks for her position, but she does not have the answer. She just remembers that after getting out of the shop, she did not see anyone around. She then kept walking for hours and finally found this veil. She assumes that she has been missing for hours, she cannot believe that it is two years. The fog veil vanishes and the people decide to get her out of it. After studying, they realize that using the iron can make the chair move through the objects. They think they can use a pile of iron to help the girl walk out of the veil, so they move a big pile of iron to that place. The fog veil actively appears, this time, they can see the people inside the veil clearly. Although the girl touches the layer, she is not able to get out. Therefore, they put an iron pillar through the veil, and then Finola catches the girl's hand, she is saved from the veil, but not only her, there are seven other people coming from the veil too. This is a new science fiction series, and this is the review for the first three episodes. We will tell you other special things from the series in the next videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.